Ten ninety Jake. Look at him. Feel me? We vibing today, babe. We was already vibing today. Do it. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. That's some rats, he said. Ten ninety Jake. When I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're gonna be speaking on King Yella and his voluntary statement at the police station. Man, said somebody read it. King oh Yella shit has been very vocal on his YouTube channel as he's recently realized his rap career is going nowhere fast. Famous for getting shot in his own music video, being affiliated with King other Yella. Chicago rappers, and being a face for the gangster disciples, King Yella has Yo. maintained a social media presence by putting himself into anything relating to the GDs and constantly talking about Lil Durk. He's also made a strong stance against snitches after dropping a song titled Famous Rats where he takes shots at 6 9 Gunna, and Boston Richie. Mm. In his lyrics, he'd speak on rappers folding in the interrogation room and in his motion to suppress, King Yellow would try to get his statements in the interrogation room thrown out. Back in February of 2018, Las Vegas uh -huh, my guys, my homies. Infinity for parking in a handicapped spot. Officers would identify the driver as Simone Lewis, who's more commonly known as King Yella. <laughs> Fidgety and non-compliant with verbal commands, officers would eventually get Yella to exit the vehicle as officers placed him in handcuffs. A records check would show Yella was not only a convicted felon, but failed to register as a felon within 48 hours. An officer would conduct a pat down search, and Yellow would claim the officer felt his dick when the what? officer pulled a 380 Ruger from Yellow's pants. The small what? six shot gun was loaded with four dicks, rounds man. of ammunition. That's crazy. King Yellow would then be arrested and charged with being a convicted felon and failing to register, carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, <laughs> possession of a firearm by there. a prohibited person, a lot? and pocketing hey, I'm gonna eat one too. Space. King Yellow would be Dude. transported to the Las Vegas. Metropolitan Police Department Central Intelligence Unit, where he agreed to give a voluntary statement. The tape recorded interview would start with Detective Brigandi telling King Yella, All right, we because they got you in cuffs, man, man you're not free to leave. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't be used against you in a court of law. You understand your rights? King Yella would reply with, Mm hmm. The detective would reintroduce himself saying he works in the intelligence section and used to work in gang investigations. They'd ask Got Yellow some good quality right now, man. You're streaming at Vegas, 1080 with 60 frames. From. Unbelievable. Asked if he's a rapper, For me, at least. Yellow would again reply with, mm-hmm. Eventually, the detective would say, oh, What's up? You a gangster disciple, correct? Yellow would answer, Well, I don't really gangbang, but if that's what I, you know what I'm saying? Yellow would confirm he was born into the Gangster Disciples in the south side of Chicago and then speak on the doing, history. Man. The detective would briefly bring up a redacted incident involving Planet Hollywood before telling Yellow he's a high profile guy. The detective would ask Yellow about an open feud on the internet between him and a person whose name was redacted from the paperwork. Yellow would confirm they had a feud but say it isn't beef. When asked what it was about, King Yellow would say Cardi B, and then mm. his boy Tommy G's from New York used to fuck her. It would now become clear they were talking about Yellow's feud with Offset. At this point, Yellow was given a damn Cam Capone interview to the intelligence detective. When the detective stated the concern was over if Cardi and Offset visit Vegas to perform, would there be an issue with King Yellow? Mm -hmm. Yellow would say, I don't know. I'm not on that with them. Know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what they What's up with y'all, man? If you need, drop a follow, man. Drop a comment. Drop some links y'all want me to react to. They on the way. I'll put them in a queue. if the Migos were from Atlanta, which they both knew the answer to, before asking Yella if Offset... It'd be music videos and be local to anybody. Yella right. replied, yeah. Now, why he would confirm to an intelligence detective that another rapper is a gang member is beyond me. And people can try and claim the police already knew, but that doesn't promote matter. This on Twitter real when it quick. comes to the courts... Gang members are further identified by so-called gang a, experts. A famous, um, we saw in the YNW like case, on. or gang don't members like my, um, turn rat. But this wouldn't be the only rapper slash gang member Yella spoke on in his voluntary statement. 
When asked why he was rolling with a gun, Yellow would claim because he's high profile and to protect himself. When asked where he got it, he'd give a name that was redacted before saying Kayla and confirming Kayla bought it. He yeah. claim he forgot the name of the gun store and that it was a 380 Ruger. The detective would confirm they separated. What's up with y'all, boy? Got four so heads in here right now. Hey, the gun off his own let's keep that up, man. I'm, I'm ready to hit this milestone, so you know what I mean? Vibe with me for a little bit longer, man. Vibe with your boy. Drop y'all links, man. Or illegally buying a gun for a convicted felon. And remember, this is a volunteer Shooting that 1080 feet. Yella had the right to remain frame. silent the entire fucking time. Seeing how willing Yella is to speak, the detective would say, What's up with the other dude from Chicago, Breezy? He's a black disciple? And Yella would say, Yeah, he's Excuse in me. jail. The detective would then ask about the incident in which King Yella and Billionaire Black approached 600 Breezy in the mall. Much of what was said was redacted, but Yella claims that video would have been a motherfucker got beat up. Mm. Then saying he was cool, he had no problem with him, and they were grown about it. But once again, Yellow would confirm to an intelligence detective that not only is he a GD and Offset's a GD, but 600 Breezy's a BD. Mm. Adam22 would ask Breezy how he feels after learning Yellow was speaking about him to detectives. I'm trying to ask Offset and 600 Breezy how they feel about getting identified as members by a rapper. How we feel about that? Um, he basically is um, incriminating me, saying that I hey, am a bad individual to the community, and I'm just a rapper, man. You know, There's a lot of types of members. I don't know what 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 Simone is talking about. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that <middle. laughs> He's he's basically he's trying to get me out the way, y'all. He's trying to get me. I won't be his friend. He's trying to get me off the streets. He done told them that I'm a gang member to the feds. And man, that's y'all homie, man. You heard it here first. It, it hit different when they snitching on me. <laughs> now the detective would ask about a man that was stopped at a fashion show that was cool with Lil Durk and Yellow would say snap dog the detective yeah. playing yeah. dumb would say that's his name and Yellow would confirm saying he was in Vegas a couple months ago snap dog would take the Instagram after learning Yellow brought his name up in the interrogation room hey my nigga 1090 Jake a real one bro my nigga called me man so be y'all boys ain't street like how y'all say y'all is, man. I'm trying to get my motherfucking name up to the police and shit, man. Y'all niggas is pitiful, bro. So yellow, we seen yellow and snitch. Dirk, with yellow confirming they're the three hundreds before naming members that were killed. The detective would then ask if three hundred gets along with six hundred, but a part of yellow's answer would be redacted. Yellow would confirm he's cool with Montana 300 uh -oh. and that he isn't the same 300 as Dirk. Montana 300. When asked about Fredo's passing, he'd be asked about his associate that said, fuck Fredo. Yellow would describe him as a hothead from Chicago named John. Hey, what's going on, though, Shetty? Huh? That big old. Hey. 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 <laughs> fuck Fredo. Oh, with the main detective done asking questions, he'd ask his partner if he had any questions, and he'd ask Yella to confirm the gun was Kayla's. Yella said he didn't know where she got it, and didn't know the last time she had it. So within 20 minutes, detectives would learn Yella's a GD, Offset's a GD, why Yella and Offset have Damn. issues, 600 Breezy's a BD, why Damn. they had a confrontation, Damn. Snap Dog fucks with Dirk, hmm. Dirk's 300, 300 and 600 aren't the same, but I the same, Montana of 300 isn't 300, John Disfredo, and Yella got the gun from Kayla. Damn. That's a whole lot of shit for someone who dropped a song about rappers folding in the interrogation room. What's crazy is King Yella didn't even have a co-defendant in this case, but still name names and gangs. And the only reason this paperwork was available is because King Yella filed a motion to suppress it from mm. his federal case, which obviously didn't work. But this wouldn't be the only paperwork on King Yella. Another platform will post an old arrest stating Yella was 19 years old when he was charged with criminal sexual abuse. Yeah. The report would state Yella was taken into custody on signed complaints he was that mm. Yella, who was 19 years old, knowingly did the nasty with the victim who was 15 years old. Uh, when the arrest report hit the internet, Yella thought he was standing on business by admitting to it and attempting to make it seem normal. Any street nigga get on this motherfucker and say, they ain't never it, did it. 
Man, on my grandma, you a goofy. Whoever you is, I'm finna block you. Y'all be mad. I'm, I be so gangster with this shit. I don't lie. How'd you gangster for fucking a little girl? Bitch ass on. Fuckers, you talking about that 19? Like we, like ball, we balling. Young bitches in the hood. Fuck you talking about that. Bitch, automatic. Everybody in the bus. Posting up, busting you down. Bitch, I'm busting you down too, nigga. Y'all know what's going on. Oh, GD. And if you, hey, listen, if you feel some type of way about King Yellow, bro, check this out. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Don't shit. follow me. Don't do nothing. Nigga. I gave it to y'all in the wrong. You that follow. What are you talking about, nigga? I was 19, probably fucking your sister, nigga. So a nigga 19 and a bitch 15, a nigga bogus, knock it the fuck off. Nigga. It's your bitch ass on. I'm talking about R. Kelly, nigga. What? The fuck you talking what? About? Now, the age of consent in Illinois is 17 years old. Which makes sense that Yellow moved to Las Vegas, where the age of consent is only 16. Oh, Mark, but still, the girl was only 15. So Yellow was fucking with underage girls, naming names and gangs in the interrogation room, mm. and associating with known snitches like Tracy Brookshire, who testified in this federal case, and Skinny from the Nine, whose interrogation video went viral. Mm. But Goofies do what Goofies do. Yella being the same Goofy that said Lil J tried to kiss him. Yella being the same Goofy that broke up with FBI Butter and now they're fake beefing. And the most views attached to Yella's name is a Slim Jesus song. Oh, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not surprised. I feel like looking at him and looking at the people around him, you can expect this. But at the same time, this makes me question the other people around him. Ruga need to kick your ass back out the door. Ruga got y'all in the door. Ruga need to kick your ass back out the door. Because you not GD. You not gangster disciple growth and development. You gang detective. That's the only Damn. fucking thing you've been doing. You going in there telling them about every little fucking thing. And it doesn't matter if somebody already, yeah, he's affiliated with this. Yeah, he's in the picture with them. It doesn't matter because you are a self-admitted gang member telling the police, the gang intelligence in Las Vegas, that they are gang members. Mm. Those statements you made can be used against them if any little bullshit happens. And the whole time, they gassed you up and had you, oh yeah, you're high profile, huh? You in there thinking you the shit. The whole time, they're trying to figure out if there's going to be gang conflicts in Las Vegas if y'all run into each other. And you just talking about everything. And it fucks me up too. Cause I just seen Prison Bay posted a video with you. And after seeing the shit that you did with the 15 year old girl, I just, I don't know. It almost felt fucking wrong seeing you with her. I hope you ain't compromise her. But goddamn, Yella, this is why you shouldn't fucking speak on people. You said I dis duck. I never dis duck. Did I say 63rd was extinct? Yes. Who the fuck is left? And for you to have a song called Famous Rats where you dissing these rappers, but the whole time you got an interrogation mm. where you naming names and gang affiliations, it's crazy. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not surprised. Let me know y'all's thoughts and comments in the comments section. They said King Yellow. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. Till next time. Ah.